Hello, and welcome to the Starlight Diner, the perfect roadside resting spot on this dark, clear night. Most people only notice the Starlight Diner when they're crossing through the desert in the middle of the night. In fact, some locals like to say that the Starlight Diner can only be seen at night. Its soft pink walls dissolving with every sunrise and reappearing again when the stars come out. From a distance, you might not think to stop but something about the Starlight Diner draws you in. A pink neon sign at the edge of the parking lot announces its presence. Its warm glow washes over the people inside and dances across the navy candlelit tabletops. The booths a soft indigo flannel, perfect for spending the evening under the stars. And that's exactly what you do at the Starlight Diner. Its domed glass ceiling offers a view of every star in the sky, allowing you to count the constellations above while sipping on a milkshake. The way Donna carries dishes, you can tell she treats it as an art form. She takes tomato soup, a stack of pancakes, a grilled cheese sandwich, and a cob salad from the window, and balances the plates along her arms like bracelets. Her gingham apron swishes softly as she glides across the floor. Gravity has a gentler pull on Donna. Each step has a buoyant quality. Her white sneakers look like clouds floating effortlessly through the sky. This phenomenon makes it easier for her to run a nocturnal restaurant. Donna is a night owl herself, with wide saucer eyes to match. She wears her short curls away from her face with a cherry red scarf, which brings out the flush in her cheeks on busy nights. Tonight is a quiet affair. Couples murmur to each other over shared desserts. Children sleep in their parents' laps. Legs curled against the cozy booths. A slow evening calls for some housekeeping. Donna lines up the salt shakers at an empty section of the counter. She unscrews the metal tops and fills each one to the top with fine grains of pink salt. They sparkle in the candlelight as they fall through the air. Donna loves the sound of salt piling up like a delicate 
rainstorm. Very, very far away. Some people claim to see a meteor shower every time they visit the diner. Families drive from miles away to see stars fall toward Earth while sipping milkshakes. Look up and you'll see light streaking across the sky like a pinball machine, leaving no trace in the heavens. In the center of the restaurant, there is a large, round, sunken couch that is perfect for counting the constellations. The blue velvet cushions are firm and inviting. Kids lay like starfish, tracing the celestial shapes with their fingers. Up in the sky, you will find the Little Dipper with the North Star at the tip of its handle, shimmering like beads of morning dew. Just below lies its companion, the Big Dipper. You may see the hunter, Orion, brandishing his twinkling sword. Within his sword is the fantastic Orion Nebula, its dust and gas swirling to form a dramatic abstract of magenta curves and billowing blue sails. Sitting at the hunter's feet is Canis Major, his trusted dog. At the top of this constellation rests Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. You can just make out a flickering blue and white X with a soft ring of rainbow light emanating from its center. Amidst the soft clink of silverware and dishes, it seems the stars are just a few miles away. Perhaps the diner and its customers are the ones who have transcended the layers of atmosphere. With most people opting for the cushy booths, the counter seats are generally empty. An older gentleman, Matthew, is more than happy to have the space without so much as glancing up at the stars he sits in the center of the counter he carefully spreads out his books and newspapers pens are arranged for taking notes he intends to read the night away. One of the diner's most regular customers, everyone knows his usual order by heart. Two eggs, sunny side up, with sourdough. A slice of pecan pie with extra whipped cream. Earl Grey tea, all night long, with just a dash of milk on the side. Tonight, he wears a dark blue plaid suit, softly worn wingtip shoes, and a yellow silk pocket square 
to soften his appearance. There isn't a house in sight for miles, in any direction, but Matthew seems to live in the neighborhood. He enjoys a bit of mystery. He gives a grateful nod and smile when his food arrives. First, he takes a sip of tea, stirring in the milk to taste. Slowly, the sourdough toast is buttered, and the egg yolks are broken. This is how to pace out an evening. Whatever you order, make sure you save room for dessert. Pies and cookies come fresh out of the oven, just as the doors open for the evening. As soon as you walk in, you're sure to notice the smell of cinnamon and butter. It's practically baked into the walls. The dessert case is a sight to behold. Lemon meringue looks like a cloud perched on a pastry crust. A glossy pecan pie is served up with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Berry peach crumble is a summertime favorite. If you want more than the classic selection, you're in luck. Their real specialty is the lost art of jelly cakes. These are nothing like the red jello blobs that one may have seen in an old cookbook. Each one is unique in design, more like a sculpture than a dessert. The Space Age cake contains a miniature solar system. Each planet is a rock candy replica, their orbit suspended by the gelatinous atmosphere. Light refracts off the tiny chunks of sugar, causing the sun to radiate from within the jelly center. Another jelly cake, called the Technicolor Wonder, has seven thin layers stacked with all the colors of the rainbow. Winter harvest comes out for the December holidays. Thinly sliced persimmon and pear are frozen in time by translucent jelly. When a cake is delivered to a table, candlelight bounces off its wobbly surface. It often sits completely untouched for several minutes as diners are transfixed by its surreal presence. While the diner itself is lit only by candles and stars, the kitchen is another story. Crisp, bright light shines down on metal surfaces, betraying the presence of any renegade crumb. The kitchen team is small and efficient, working together like a well-rehearsed orchestra. The head chef, Jake, leans over a plate of waffles, adding the final dollop of whipped cream before sending them out. His arms and hands are covered in intricate tattoos 
of red and gold koi fish swimming their way towards his fingers. He got them in his youth, and the ink has since faded. Yet the colorful scales still stand out against his spotless white chef's coat. Nowadays, he is all about utility. He keeps his jet black hair cut short, just to shave a few minutes of his morning routine. On the other side of the kitchen, the dishwasher Rita cleans a pile of silverware. The water fans out into little particles, uniting with the metal and soap. A pile of suds forms, unhindered by weight. Tiny bubbles rise above Rita's head. They hold colorful reflections of the cooks below, silently popping without ceremony. Rita scrubs the utensils with a plastic bristle brush. She rinses them down, revealing their renewed shine. In the back corner, under a towering monstera plant, sits a mahogany jute box. At first glance, you might think that it's just there for decoration. An arch of yellow light on top of the machine creates an aura of familiar mystique. Ornate Brass, curlicues, line the woven speakers. Well-worn ivory buttons beckon those who approach to make a song selection. Push a quarter into the slot, and you'll hear it slide down into the depths of the machine, rattling like a loose train car until it completes its journey with a metallic splash. A light turns on behind the glass interface, and the jukebox comes alive. The arch of light begins to dance from yellow to blue in a lazy rhythm. The buttons have a satisfying click when you press down to explore the musical offerings. The Starlight Jukebox is curated to have an atmospheric selection. A flip through the tracks reveals ambient soundscapes and nature recordings. Wind chimes in motion. Clouds on the horizon. Supernova Symphony. These comforting sounds make it easy to fully relax and bear witness to the celestial bodies above. With the music playing at a dull roar, the guests speak in almost a whisper. Even children respect this place as sacred. Martha is the waitress that makes everyone feel at home in her section. When she's not chatting with customers, she works on her nightly cleaning ritual. First, she runs a towel under warm water and dips it into a citrus solution. 
she rings it out before wiping the counter down. Her arm makes broad, circular motions. The streaks of water left in the towel's path glisten under the candlelight. Once the crescent-shaped counter is shining, she moves to each open table, winding a well-worn path through the restaurant. She wears her hair in a single heavy braid that stops in the middle of her back. As she walks, it sways like the pendulum in a grandfather clock, side to side. Her face is serious throughout this procedure, but a small smile turns up the corners of her mouth. She takes great satisfaction in knowing the diner is spotless. Martha is known for her ability to notice what others might miss. A slight tear in the fabric of a booth or a loose tile in the bathroom. She will see it and fix it. When Martha first applied at the Starlight Diner, she was traveling in a camper van across the country. Transfixed with the diner, she put her trip on hold when she was hired. Now it's been 14 years. Whatever she was searching for, she found in this dome of stars. A tall chrome rectangle with rounded corners and plexiglass windows sits between the front door and the host stand. A soft pink light illuminates the contents of this box. Plastic binoculars, rocket ship plushies, planet-shaped beach balls. It's well known that every diner needs a claw machine. The one at Starlight has a reputation of having better odds to win a prize. In fact, if you are able to master the simplistic maneuvers of the game, you're guaranteed to walk away with a treat. A nervous teen, Alex, approaches, apprehensive at first. They drop a wooden token into the machine and press a smooth red button that brings the game to life. The pink light slowly pulses as the claw draws toward the center of the box. Many hearts have been won at this very claw machine, presenting a crush with a miniature planet is true romance. Alex has someone special in mind. They take a deep breath and guide the joystick down into the pile of toys. The claw moves slowly but surely. With just four seconds remaining, Alex aims for an oversized stuffed Saturn. The claw obliges, grabbing the planet's soft rings. Saturn rises into the air and is transported into Alex's hands. 
It's exactly as Alex dreamed it. Plump and velvety. Eyes closed, Alex squeezes it to their chest with a little smile, making a wish on the plushy planet.